So we're gonna be against Samuel Basoto and he's gonna go minor first play. Um this guy's a pro player, so it's not gonna be easy. But hopefully we get a good matchup and we're gonna try our best here. So he cycles log, he has to go expo. Just to kinda see what the win condition is gonna be. Alright, mortar. Not really the best matchup, I guess, since he has minor as well. Um and E Spear makes it like a little more tough. But hopefully it's not earthquake or anything. So fireball. I think that's fine we do get a couple chip shots off our expo here and definitely want to go obsolete in this matchup so they can't fire below your expo and like hit the tower as well so we go ahead and split arch the back and i don't know if he has mortar back in cycle or not but if he's still not gonna play anything i guess we'll i'll actually expo on the left because he plays his archer queen which is five elixir and just go log e-spirit try to kill his minor quickly and ooh, I don't know about that knight, he's not going to have enough to fireball right away, I don't think. So we might be able to get a good lock here. And Expo's on tower, I don't know how he's going to stop, because he can't like fireball the knight and the Expo. And oh my gosh, he just wasted so much elixir. I'm going to go Expo to zero, and I think we just won the game, because he doesn't have enough to play mortar. Um, okay, he's going to go minor late. He's going to let them get two shots, then go log, should kill the minor. And yeah, that's a good game for sure. There's no way you can defend this expo. Um, okay, it goes with like a really light fireball. But yeah, there's really nothing uh, he can do at this point. Because we have his tower down so low and it's already double looks. We could just pretty much play defense the whole game. Might end up giving up. I don't even know. Um, so I'm not going to play anything. So let's just, I guess we'll offensive expo. Take his tower. And... Okay, looks like he's going to end up giving up. Okay, so we're going to be against M.O.B. Dark right here. And I'm pretty sure this guy has a lot of clone. Which is, I guess, not... Mm, okay, that's kind of annoying how I went lava first play and I didn't have my exponent cycle. So I'm just hoping he... Mm, that was actually a decent flying machine. It's kind of hoping he would ignore that and just go all in. So we can get a lot of damage and then expo. But, mm, I'm not sure if he's going to clone this or not, because we do have, like, a lot on the board. I don't really think this is going to get too much damage, because he probably won't be able to fireball immediately on our archers. And, okay, we're going to take, like, some damage, but I think it's fine, because he'll probably end up ignoring our next expo. This might end up being a two-tower game if he just sacks the tower and goes all in. But, I don't think this matchup's awful in a two tower game um actually maybe it is because they do have like a lumberjack and skarmy so i guess in a expo he might lava same time okay so i think we might lose our left hand tower here unless we pull off a godly defense east spirit does get a lot of value uh, one of the main reasons i'm using east spirit right now is just because of clone decks you can't be clone decks with ice spirit so that's one of the main reasons so let's see if we can manage to defend this. And Archer is locking his baby dragon is really good. Mm, not oh that was a really bad clone on his end actually. And I think we're surprisingly gonna be able to defend this. I'm not gonna use my fireball because the flying machines can die anyways. Not gonna take our tower. And we can go expo same lane now. Just so that if it does end up being a two-tower game, we should have like a comfortable lead on the left side, I guess. And he's going to spam us here after Fireball because of my cycle. Lumberjack gets one hit. Alright, we're in a pretty good spot. So I'm going to Expo. He goes uh, Lava Hound at the same time. So I'm going to Knight in front in case. Like, I don't want the Flying Machine to be able to come out Expo. Plays it behind the tower. So I'm just going to go ahead and Fireball uh, early so that we can cycle back to another one on this defense. That's going to be Tower down, I think. Or at least close to it. So, yeah, we take the left-hand tower. As long as we don't get 3 crowned, I think we'll be able to win the game. Um, might not even lose our tower here. No, nah, never mind. We're going to lose tower, but I don't really care. He's going to archer down low to be safe. Ensure that he doesn't end up 3 crowning us. He's going to Tesla off the side here. And with only 10 seconds left, we have 2 towers down. So yeah, it's going to be a good game. I mean, to be honest, I don't think this matchup's really that good anyways even with a lecture spirit you just have to not like 
lose your tower in single elixir and you should be fine all right so the next match here gonna be up against harold from the clan robert's army physical psycho esprit in the back seems gonna have all right spirit goblins most likely minor wall breakers or mortar or something although zap um maybe some kind of sparky deck i'm not too sure yeah dark oh wait no this is gonna be probably goblin giant um double prince bait I think it's more likely to be that than Sparky with the Spear Goblins. Oh right, yeah, so this matchup is actually going to be quite good for us, I think. Just because it doesn't run a miner or anything. And we also have Electric Spirit for his bats. So if he goes Goblin Giant here, it's going to die on my Tesla anyways, which is the main reason why I'm, go I'm going in. And we can also try to outcycle um, on the next offense. We get a couple expo ticks there. Don't know if those archers are going to take any hits off. I don't think they will. And he's going to spear goblins anyways. Um, so we could try to like... Uh, maybe it's not the best to expo. He's in the dark prince. Actually, he's a, kind of a good dark prince. Because it kind of prevents me from going in. Um, he probably could have got damage there if he didn't go into dark prince. But... I think in double elixir, it's going to be pretty easy to defend his pushes. Basically, the only way they win this matchup is if they somehow ignore your expo single and take tower. Which is still kind of unlikely. Um, but I've lost this matchup uh, before. Against a player, at least this one player who finished number two in the world with the deck. And that's kind of what he did. So let's just go skeletons for his prince. And going to double now, I guess we can offensive expo because I already have a Tesla surviving here. And it's like Goblin Giant. I'm gonna actually Tesla instead of Archers because I don't really want to give him the free fireball. And we can try to get a good time to log off, but he's actually gonna fireball anyways, so we don't get our expo to connect. Heart down a tiny bit of damage, but I'm just gonna go in right away because we have his Goblin Giant all cycled by a couple cards. So we have to play stuff in the middle to tank. Okay, actually, he cycled back, but I'm just gonna go archers at the, uh, the bridge. Help DPS that down. And kind of a late Dark Prince, gonna log. And toss up high, maybe wanna explode a tower. Okay, that's what's gonna die, so. He's doing a decent job defending. He does spend like 5 elixir right at the bridge, so I think we can go in again. Might be up a little bit. Probably has Gomtain back. Yeah, okay, it's just night the bridge. Try to DPS that down quickly. And we get a good log off. Mm. And Fireball's Prince, just because he's gonna kill faster and might force out uh, might force him to fireball this. And go to the Spear Goblins opposite lane. We did get a tiny Axe log, but will put us in the damage lead actually. So he's gonna pre-plant Tesla on defense now. I assume he's gonna start trying to go in. So we kind of want to keep a pressure to help prevent him from having any chance of breaking through. He's going to go knight the bridge and arch as well. I don't really care if he fireballs over there because it's not getting any tower damage. My expo gets a couple of ticks off. Um, wait, did I get... I think that might have got some damage from tower, but I should go in again. I don't want him to be able to build and push his triple elixir. Uh, he's going to prince, expo will lock on. So, Michael Goblin Giant on this. Actually, plays in the opposite lane. We can test up high. The E Spirit, try to protection log these Spirit Goblins. Uh, does not end up playing them. Uh, so, the Dark Prince. With a night nice same lane. I'm gonna keep up pressure with an, another expo at the bridge here. And we're actually looking pretty good, up about 500 damage. Let's go to Knight. Hopefully, the Tesla targets his prince. Okay, it's not, but back to another one up high, we can log just for some tower damage. Help secure our damage lead. And with another expo. Uh, he might end up fireballing my Tesla, so I gotta be ready with another one here. So let's go kill some high. Let's just bear archers, make sure none of that can get any damage on our tower. But with only 10, 10 seconds left, there's no way he can recover the damage deficit so as i said earlier pretty much a 
like a free win if you know what you're doing. Um, e Spirit gets a lot of value if you just save it for the bats. And you can pretty much win off of log cycling, which is kind of what we did there. Didn't get like any significant expo lock. So yeah, it's going to be a plus 30. Okay, so we're 315 in the world right now. Three trophies away from 7900. So hopefully we can do it in this game here. Uh, the key time is taking a while, looks like. So I'll see you all when we find the match. So let's just like go skeletons in the back here to start things off. Uh, he's actually a lot of trophies above us. This will be plus 36 or something if we win. Uh, he, he's like one game from 8k as well. So we might end up ruining his lifelong dream of reaching 8,000 trophies. And this is looking like probably Mega Knight Lightning. Because a lot of people have been using this deck lately with Archer Queen. Yeah, so I don't really know if this is a good match or not. And I know he's lightning, so that's why I want to play my Tesla up high, just to make sure he can't get any lightning value. Although it probably wouldn't even be a good play to do that in single elixir. Because if he spent 6 on a lightning, I could just like E-Spirit and then Expo. And not take that much damage. So, kind of just playing things passively now. He might go to Arch Queen in the back. He pretty much want to fireball every time. So, I'm just going to go with a bandit while Archer is like this. He doesn't have a poison or anything. So, you can kind of just play the same lane. So, just go fireball on his Arch Queen. And my Archer should, I think, kill it. And if he use the ability, I can log it anyways. Actually, we probably don't need to. Just go Electra Spirit. And I'm just going to finish off his Arch Queen. Uh, so, I guess another Rare Mine in the back. You don't really want to expo opposite lane when they do that. Because they might ignore it and, like, expo... I mean, Magnite the bridge. Well, it looks like he's gonna do that anyways, but don't think it's really gonna do too much. Oh shoot! It actually somehow pushed the Ramrider into the other tower, which is unfortunate because he does end up getting the dash there. So not the best defense in our end. Um, entering double so now he's definitely gonna start lightning. Go the lightnings on our Tesla, so we do have to watch out for that. And I'm gonna go again because I don't think he has Mega Knight back into cycle. Um, I'm just gonna like play cards in the middle to tank. And Psycho's back now. I'm gonna go Knight on offense. And split Archers for his Ghost. I'm gonna Fireball. His Archer Queen. Hopefully my Easter connects to it so the log kills it. Okay, perfect. So I think uh, we can probably go um, for another expo here. Do have to Knight for his Ghost. And I'm gonna wait. Uh, probably not best expo because he has kind of a fast cycle with e-spirit so i feel like he just like bandit and then be back to mega knight so i kind of want to wait for a, a better opportunity maybe when he overcommits on offense then we can expo so cycle log on the archer queen i don't think the rare motor connects so just test up high here might use the ability so wait second like one hit i don't okay we got our e-spirit down in time um, so it goes Rambo in the back. We can't go Expo yet. And, alright, that was pretty aggressive Mega Knight. I'm just gonna Fireball on defense now. And, he's spending quite a lot of Elixir here. Don't know if we're able to Expo. I don't know, I think we are, because we're probably up a few Elixir, and he also doesn't have Mega Knight right away. So, there's new Archer Queen. I'm gonna log that. We do end up getting the lock, because he's the ability, which will allow us to get in the damage lead and he probably yeah won't make it the back doesn't want to take the archer damage he's gonna run out now let's hustle actually that one might have been a bad night because someone can magnate the bridge and i don't mind knight and cycle for it but i do think we can get back to one do archers knight for that i think we're gonna be fine on this defense if i just log band is gonna get pulled to the knight we can go skeletons Make sure none, none of that connects. Alright, I think we're looking pretty good. Just gonna fireball on defense. There's a Mega Knight to tank for our Tesla, so I'm gonna log. Should kill his Archer Queen. Alright, perfect. So, Ram Matter now. He will be Tesla Pi. There's no way he has enough to lighten this right away. So, I think we have to log. Just to be sure. Alright, yeah. Ram Matter doesn't connect. I don't know about that Mega Knight, because we can pressure him with an Expo now. Sultan's up high for his Bandit, Fireball the Queen. I think we might get a lock. 
because he's kind of spending a lot of elixir. And place the expo farm up to the left. That doesn't target his Mega Knight. It's just gonna, um, okay, lag. Hopefully we don't lose because of that. Uh, I think we're gonna be okay though. So just eat spirit. Just gonna lighten everything. Our step high. Our matter should not connect. Oh wow, the tower is actually not even targeted on that. I don't know how much the charge damage does, but it's probably not 800. So yeah, able to get the win there. Can be a difficult matchup just because we have E-Spirit, which makes the cycle a little bit faster. Which is kind of worse for you than get back to Mega Knights pretty easily. So plus 37, that's definitely going to put us over because we are only 3 trophies away. And yeah, 270 in the world. So really solid push. Haven't tilted in quite a bit. So I guess 3 games away from 8k unless we somehow get plus 40s or something which is unlikely to happen so the next video will be pushing 8,000 trophies hopefully we can do it pretty soon thank you all for watching and until then i'll see you guys in the next video